Hello guys, my name is Presim and welcome to a brand new camera comparison between the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 against the iPhone XR and the Samsung Galaxy S10e. Currently we are shooting at 1080p at 30 frames per second and while the iPhone XR is limited to 1080p at 60 frames per second, the Note 10 and the S10e can shoot up to 4K. We have no switch to the rear camera, currently we are shooting at 4K at 30 frames per second. Look out for the audio icon and tell me in the comment section which one has a better stabilization. Now we are shooting at 1080p at 60 frames per second. Now let's run a little bit. Again, which one do you think has a better stabilization? Now let's start with some pictures using the front camera. As you can see, the pictures from the Note 10 and the S10e are very similar. They both are wider than the picture from the 10R, which is nice, but in this shot I like the 10R more. The same case is in these shots too. I like all three, but the 10R is more true to life. In this one, the Note 10 and the S10e did mess with the background a lot. Pictures feel like they are shot on portrait while the iPhone XR has a nice balance. Switching to the rear camera, as you can see, all three did a good job with very similar results. However, I like the one from the Note 10 more just because of the dynamic range. In this case, pictures from the Note 10 and the S10e have vibrant colors, which I do like more than the one on the XR, which has a darker tone. Besides the main camera, the Note 10 and S10e have also an ultra-wide camera which is the same on both and does produce really similar results with a good dynamic range. The Note 10 has also a telephoto camera. With 2 times optical zoom, the picture is much better than the digital zoom used for the 10R and S10e. This was a really difficult shot to make because we were shooting against the sun and overall all three have good images, but the Note 10 in particular is better. Here all three again are very similar with the iPhone XR just being a little bit darker and the buildings are better exposed. The same case is here also, the Note 10 and the S10e are sharp and vibrant, but the buildings are washed out, while the iPhone XR has a darker but overall a better image. If we use the ultra wide camera, you can see how much more you can fit in the frame. I hope this year Apple will do what Samsung did with the S10e and add the ultra wide camera with the iPhone 11R, not the telephoto. In these next images, you can see how similar all three are, so you can't go wrong with either of them. In this one, the Note 10 and the S10e are very similar again, and better than the iPhone XR, which in this case is way too flat for my taste. Again, if we use the ultra wide camera, you can capture so much more. In daylight especially, the ultra wide camera on the Note 10 and the S10 series is remarkable. For this portrait shot, I really do like the 10R much more. It did mess my hair a little bit, but the colors are better than the other two. That doesn't mean that the Note 10 and S10e portraits are bad, but the 10R is just better. In this one, again, I like how my face is better exposed on the 10R, but it has a bad edge detection and the shirt is very blurry. The Note 10 and S10e on the other hand did a good job, but the color on my face is not at the level of the 10R. In this panorama shot, you can see the Note 10 did a good job. Not the best, but it was okay. The S10e also has a similar image. The panorama on the 10R, however, is really amazing. It has very good colors and it is very sharp. So Samsung needs to do a lot of work to catch Apple for the panorama pictures. Now switching to low light for some selfies, you can see how the iPhone 10R falls short against the Note 10 and the S10e. The S10e is a little bit brighter but it is also blurry. In this case, again, the iPhone XR is way, way worse than the other two. So low light using the front camera really needs to be improved with the next generation of iPhones. We have now switched again to the rear cameras. And in this case, I like the XR a little bit more, because it has better colors and it is sharper. However, the Note 10 and the S10e did a good job too. You can also use the ultra wide camera on the Note 10 and S10e, which is almost the same quality like the main lens. In this case, the S10e and the Note 10 are brighter and better, 
while the tenor is darker. And, if we use the night mode, you can see the difference is even bigger. Now, with the better sensor on the Note 10, you can also use the telephoto camera on the dark, not the digital zoom of the main camera. Again, the ultra-wide camera is really handy. But in this case, it came darker and blurry on the S10e, so I suggest you use the night mode. As you can see, it really did make the pictures better and sharper. If we go to pitch black darkness, again, the Note 10 and S10e are better, and that even without using the night mode. If we use this feature, the pictures become brighter and better, but not much sharper. In this case, all three are very similar, with the iPhone XR being just a little bit better exposed. But, if we use the night mode, the cards turn in favor of the Note 10 and S10e. Also in this case, the night mode did a really amazing job compared to the regular shots, which makes me hope Apple does add the night mode on the next iPhones. So in conclusion, all three have amazing cameras, with not much difference in the main lens. However, Apple needs to improve the front camera for low light, add an ultra wide sensor, and also add the night mode option so it can catch the competition. If you did enjoy this video, feel free to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. Thank you.